What was it that kind of drew you to that role? Were you offered the role, or did you audition, or? No, I, had to, I, I auditioned. Okay. Um, but uh, I think that, for me, uh, the, the basis of my interest in, in acting is I have a huge curiosity for humans and for inner workings and why we do what we do. Mm. And, and uh, this movie and this role in particular really delves into uh, parenting and the effects that they have on a child and the responsibility of bringing a child into the world and then showing them what the world is. And Helen has grown up with such a, such a uh, special uh, life. Um, and I think that when you come into the film, you're, you're seeing her sort of grow up and as you grow, you get taller and you're able to look at your parents in the eyes. And when you do, you're able to see that they are a flawed individual. And that's right. this idea that you have that they are this you know, untouchable, ungodly being is, is shattered. And then what do you do with it? You, and for her, it was to get angry. Right. And to feel, you know, chipped in a way. Oh, no, I just, and uh, I, as a father, I I feel like I'm worried that that kind of stuff's going to happen all the time. And I I actually, uh, I re remember when we got done work watching it, because um, we both, me and my wife, we both liked it a lot. Um, and she actually really was sympathetic to Woody's character in the film. And at the same time, I was, but I, you know, I couldn't forgive how, you know, kind of horrible a human being he was. But we had yeah. very, we had very different views of it. And I thought that that was the thing that um, the director, um, I believe it was Orrin Moverman, um, yeah. that he managed to get across very well um, with the way that the film was shot and the way that it was paced and Harrelson's performance in particular. Um, it just, it, it managed to really make his character a guy who was very, very flawed. I mean, probably one of the worst crooked cops I've ever seen in any movie. But at the same time, he's somebody that you really, really, really care about. And there are a lot of movies, there's a, a movie I saw recently um, that Diablo Cody wrote, who I, I really like her a lot, um, and a lot of people liked it, but I personally felt that in, like, young adult, I didn't ever care about the lead character in that film. I didn't, ever. I just thought she was bad to begin with, and she was bad to end. And it was really interesting to watch Rampart, where... Harrelson is a, a million times worse than that character was in the young adult movie, but I still couldn't help caring for him because of how well written it was and and the way that it got into every little detail of it in Harrelson's performance, it just it, it made such a big difference. I, yeah. I, I don't know, maybe that it, it, I think that the difference I think the difference between the two is that uh, with Rampart you understand uh, what the stem of it all is. Um, we're not necessarily Absolutely. I and I, I think that a lot of people feel this way when you're driving on the road and sometimes you have this out of body experience where you realize that you're driving in between the lines that you always have. And mm -hmm. you don't know what it's like to just turn your wheel to the left slightly and just bump into someone else, literally intersect with another person. Right. And that's what Dave is doing. And this movie is just seeing the repercussions of that intersection. Oh, I I completely agree. I, I don't think I could have put it any better. Yeah.